harpoon boats that went out with, with harpoon guns right on the prow. And they would harpoon the calf, and then the mother would fight. That's why she was so protective of her calf. They be became called devil fish. And then it, whether it was the calf or the mother, they would drag them into shore here and flens them out, cutting the skin and the blubber off. And for years and years, we knew that there was, because this was one of the artifacts, this is a tripod, they would uh, start a fire underneath this pot and cook down the blubber into a roiling fat. And that fat would be used for lamp lighting lamps. Remember, electricity didn't get here until the early 1930s. So before then, the only light they had was candles, which were usually tallow or wax, and oil from animals. So they drag him up here. So this is what say, you know, where's the bone? What kind of your bone? Well, one summer, a few years, one winter, a few years ago, a huge storm came and scoured this whole beach. It took all the sand off this beach. It was just pebbles and rocks. And skulls. Nine skulls. These are now very decomposed. But these are the skulls of gray whales. This is where the eye would be. That's where the rostrum would be, and then of course the melon there where they would echolocate it, the oil. And then the lower jaws didn't last very long, but they would come around this way too. The back here, if you can see it, this is the occipital condyle, where the spinal cord leaves the brain and goes down the backbone. So these nine skulls, hundreds of ribs, scapula, all kinds of bones were suddenly revealed after 150 years. So we dragged some up and there's a few more over there and they're gradually decomposing. Of course, the calcium, the magnesium, whatever these bones are made of is gradually decomposing. The squirrels gnaw on them a little bit to get a little extra food. Everything uh, is here, but this history is just amazing. So we decided we needed to create an exhibit to educate people about that. So that's what these three uh, panels are for. The first one just being about the history of shore whaling and uh, where the whalers came from, Portugal and the Azores mostly is where the whalers were coming from. And then uh, you can see here the locations of all the whaling stations. Then here on the next panel, we talk about what it was like to do shore whaling. And then over here, it's a good story. Here's the list of whales that were harvested from San Simeon Bay. You can actually see how many whales they harvested and reported. And we're still whaling here in San Simeon Bay, but now we're doing it with cameras and uh, enjoyment rather than for commerce and destruction. So it's, it's actually a 